Hi everyone, I hope you people are doing great. In this video, I'll help you out with everything regarding the pre-December 2024 mock which is finally available on your ACCA portal. I'll help you out with how to navigate through and is it important for your practice? Is it important for your December attempt or no? So first of all, let's see how to access it is by just simply type on Google ACCA practice platform. Click on the first link that you get which is the, I think, the first link here which you get is the ACC official link once you click on that this portion this uh, you know screen will open which is the ACA practice platform just log on to your portal you'll you know after when once you click on these it will ask you your basic credentials just enter those and your test reach section this section basically wherein you get also you also get your past papers this section will open up and for example um, I want to access a pre-December mock for double uh, A. So I'll click on double A. I'll click on ACCA official resources and I'll click on past uh, practice exam. So on practice exams, you'll be getting a double A pre December 2024 mock exam. So this is the official mock which ACCA releases uh, before every quarter, two to three weeks uh, before every quarter. And this is an official mock which is prepared by ACCA team and the same exam set of examiners who has prepared your final exam as well. So this is just a, like a mock for you to get an idea that as to, uh, you know, what kind of questions have been, uh, will, like, will be asked in the final exam. Of course, now this, you know, a lot of students get confused that, you know, will the questions be same or will it be a level higher or a level lower? So now there can be certain scenarios. First of all, a big no to the first question that no or not at all. The questions cannot be the exact same which you get over here. So just a quick disclaimer, um, when I used to study in, uh, in my attempt in PM or FM, I used, I got two to three questions very similar to the pre-December uh, mock, the pre-mock that ACC releases. So if you Im uh, ask me, is it important? Is it important? I would say a hundred percent yes, absolutely yes, it is important. Why? Because firstly, it has been created by the same set of examiners who has created your final paper as well, right? That's the first thing. Second thing is that this will give you a brief. It will give you a brief of as to how, what level of questions can be asked in the paper. Now, your paper can be a, you know, level up or a level down or the same level so it can be the same but mostly i would say uh, 70 to 80 percent of the times it is this case scenario so either it is the same level which is you know your pre-december mock or it is a level down very in very rare case scenarios your entire paper will be a level up right so you will get a very good hands-on practice as to what kind of questions can be asked in the paper right because this is not prepared by some other mentor or a tutor you know it is prepared by the same team so if you ask me the importance it is very important now when should you appear for this mock because right now we have more than 15 days till you know exam days so i would say one at least one week prior you should appear for this mock and uh, appear and then get it checked also by somebody so either your tutor if you're taking any classes if you're not taking any classes any mentor who is providing such services so we at being ACCA also provide mock evaluation services uh, for few papers not all so I'll just list down so that it's easier for you so basically we provide the mock evaluation service for AA for AAA for PM for FM, for AFM, and for SBL. So for all these six papers, we provide mock evaluation at being ACCA. You can reach us out on our Instagram page or you can directly go on to our website, which is www.beingacca.com in and you will be getting all the information over there so basically i'm just trying to tell you that you know mock evaluation is again very important especially for the papers that are uh, subjective and require judgment so like papers like double a afm sbl triple a all of these papers are very subjective so if you appear for them on your own and you know you see the examiner's answers you might be not able to you know relate 
fully to the answers etc so it's always better to get an external opinion for the same so that's another thing now uh, lastly uh, a lot of students also get confused that do we have the answers of this particular mock on the platform absolutely yes ACSA always give you answer scripts as well so I'll show you how to get it so once you you need to first assign it to yourself once you assign it it will come under this section of self assigned material so now you need to appear for the mock first to be able to get the answers before uh, you appear you won't be able to see the answer scripts answers basically so if i see this i'll re resume it i'll just open it quickly for you people so that it's easier for for you people to navigate when if you want to see the answers also after you have attempted the particular paper of any of any subject let's see so what i'll do is i'll navigate directly to question 26 and i will I will end the exam so I need to end the exam I will exit I will go to mark section so once you go to the mark section self marking here it is coming pre-december mark once I click on self mark it will take a couple of seconds to load and then you will be able to see the answers now one thing is that you won't be able to download the answer so this is the answers for the you know your um, mcqs and when you do next 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 and go to the subjective part like in order we have it at question number 26 okay so basically if you see here you will get question marking guidelines so basically how much marks should you give for a particular question that will come over here and if you see question sample answer so once you click on this you will be able to see the sample answer of the questions again it will take few seconds to load but mind you you won't be able to download it so you can take screenshots if you want to put it like a, at a one place but there's no option of downloading so if you see this you will be able to see that here we have the answer of question number 25 so this, this is suggested answer so you have the answer and if you want to see the marking scheme as to how much marks do you will you be able to get in question 20, 25 and is there any bifurcation or anything then you can click on question marking guidelines and click here and then the same screen will open up and it will show you the marking scheme as well for the particular question so same thing is there uh, here as well if there's any bifurcation they will also tell you again you won't be able to download you can you know do a full screen and you can take a screenshot if you want to put it at a particular place but yes you will be able to review the answers also so i hope that this video was helpful for you do let me know if you have any doubts any questions in the comment section down below